All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about the top five things I love about Astro Map. We've been working on this drone for about the last two years and it's finally shipping and I'm excited about it. And uh, I thought I'd just run through some of the cool, cool things that are great about it. So my number one thing, I'm a drone pilot that's flown for the last 20 years and drones didn't always fly very well. So the thing that I love the most about Astro is the flight performance. What that comes down to on this is a bunch of tuning on the flight controller to, you know, things, lessons learned over the last 10 years of building free fly. And then also we put a huge amount of effort into designing a new version of our speed control, uh, our motor drive essentially that is ultra fast. And so Oftentimes in drones these days, the limiting factor in how well they fly is how fast your motor drive is. It's not something that a lot of people dig into because it's really hard to get right. And if you mess it up, uh, the motor drives blow up and have reliability issues. So a lot of drone companies don't dig in and go as hardcore on the motor drive design and improvement as possible. We added probably six months of timeline to this project to develop new motor drives and they are so fast and this thing flies so well because of it. So. You can be in a low hover, you know, an inch off the ground in turbulent conditions and this thing is rock solid. So it feels like an FPV drone or like you're flying a simulator. When you command an angle or rate command, it's just perfect, exactly what you want it to do. Um, it just feels great. So that's the number one thing I love. So number two thing I love is flight time. So, you know, for a lot of my flights are getting 20, 25 minutes with a 61 megapixel camera. I started doing drone photography, real estate photography, like back in 2003, 2002, I think, when uh, Jeff Scholl and I were like having, having a great time doing it back then. And the idea that you could fly, you know, we were flying these big helicopters, you get maybe two, three minutes flight. A lot of times I remember in the, in the early days, you'd be able to get up to the altitude you wanted to get the photo, the helicopter would go dead and you'd have to quickly auto rotate back down with just a little bit of power to help you land. And that was flying like totally crappy cameras. You know, the first digital rebel, we were like so excited about that. And then to fast forward <clears throat> such a small chunk of time and you're flying a 61 megapixel imager in this like perfectly stable GPS controlled um, system with great lenses and great imaging is just incredible. Next thing I love is modularity. So along the way in, in doing this, we chose to make everything as modular as possible. So we're contributing a lot of our standards back to PX4 drone code um, standards. So like a battery interface, these batteries are open. So if another drone manufacturer wants to use these, we publish a spec, we publish the CAD, we publish the API to interface with them. They're smart batteries. They give you all the data that a drone would need in order to make smart decisions about what's happening with the power systems we provide via the API. So this is, you know, the batteries are now kind of a standalone product that we hope will help other companies in whether it's drones or robotics accelerate their development because, you know, we would have loved if there was something available like this to leverage for Astro. There wasn't, so we built it. Same thing with Gimbal. As part of this process, we also worked with Autirian and Drone Code to standardize the smart dovetail. Um, so our team developed this along with them and it's, it's open and public now. So if anybody develops to the standard, payloads just slot in, they work. That's really cool because that means that um, customers across, you know, from our, our drone platform to other platforms, get access to so many great uh, payloads. So maybe somebody comes out with a stabilized LiDAR payload tomorrow that we love, slot it in with smart dovetail, you're good to go. So on the modular front, I love, you can use this thing however you want. So maybe you're a provider that works out of a van all day and you leave it fully set up and ready to go. That's cool. Maybe you're going back country with it to get photos for some project you're working on and you need to travel. That's cool too. It folds down ultra tiny, ultra fast. You throw it in a backpack, you're off. Cause we end up, you know, I end up traveling with my stuff a lot and I love the ability to pack it in a bunch of different ways. Pelican case, backpack, throw it in the car, leave it set up. I have these slides in my truck where I pack one in there. So I love the modularity because it just gives you flexibility on how you use the system, how you travel with it. Sometimes you're you know, up against weight constraints in a small plane or a helicopter. It's nice to have options and flexibility there. Um, next thing I love is image quality. Like I was saying, you know, I started out my drone career flying a maxi joker electric helicopter with the first digital rebel that came out and film cameras before then. 
And the notion that you can have a 61 megapixel imager from Sony flying on this tiny drone that goes in the back of your car and flies for 25 minutes, it's amazing. So I love the image quality off this is just astounding. Um, you know, Hugh and I used to fly medium format cameras for some clients and, you know, the images that you see coming off of this are right up there with them. Really cool. Yeah, and I think, I guess the, I kind of covered it, but the modularity, the packability. So I kind of mixed those together when I was talking about it. But my, my last one was packability. So I love, you know, this is a drone that carries a, a really great camera and it folds up to, I don't know, about the size of a pizza box. So I love that just the ability to go from, you know, pull out a backpack to set up really quick. So I'll show you how. So legs fold out, click, arms fold open, click that in. We put so much emphasis on, at FreeFly, on usability. We want our stuff to be easy to use. We want it to be quick to use. We have a lot of tests we run, like the golden glove test. We have a specific ski glove that we use, and you need to be able to set up the system with the ski glove on, because that's how we know it's easy enough to use for customers. Um, but that gives you an idea of, you know, we're basically powered up and we're ready to fly. So those are the things I love about Astro. These have started shipping out now. We've got a bit of a back order from all the people that have been patiently waiting for us as we developed this uh, wonderful drone. but. They'll be getting out into the world more and more quickly every single day. Go to the website if you want to buy one or if you want more info. We have tons of information and data sets available on the wiki. And uh, yeah, reach out. Thomas and Dennis are running our Astro program. I'm just their unpaid spokesperson for now. So um, yeah, we'd love, to, we'd love to hear what you want us to build in the future for this ecosystem. And just love to hear if you have any questions about Astro. We're super excited about it. I love this baby. Uh, let's go fly it.